Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. is next weekend and a lot of you are probably going to be at parties and eating everything in the world that isn't good for you. But today we're going to show you how to whip, us, whip up a salad that's good for any occasion including Super Bowl Sunday. And back with us is our own Alyssa Carr from the Jackson 24-7 News Team. Alyssa, thanks so much for coming out today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so tell us a little bit. This isn't just your regular salad. What kind of salad is this that we're going to be making today? It's not your regular salad. It's called Mandarin salad. And this is a salad that my mom always makes. She's made it since I've been so little. And it is by far my favorite dish that she makes on all holiday occasions or whenever we have family, friends over, or whenever I request it and I beg her to make it and she makes it for dinner. Dishes. So is it kind of one of your family favorites in, in the Carr family? It definitely is. Good. I think my mom originally got the recipe from a close family friend. But, you know, my mom couldn't even remember who she got it from because she's just made it for so long. And so um, it was definitely mine and my siblings, one of our very favorite dishes. It's so tasty. Okay, well, I'm excited to learn a little bit more about it. So what, what do we need to start with whenever we're making our salad? Well, um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, there's two different types of lettuce. There's romaine and iceberg lettuce that you put okay. into it. And, and where, where can you get those? Do, are they just... In the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Yep, they're right just in the store, right? Okay. Yeah, actually, right next to each other. I went to Kroger and got mine. And um, you just, so you need half a head of iceberg lettuce and half a head of romaine. And you will just tear them up into bite sized pieces. Okay, now I have a quick question uh -huh. about the lettuce. Now, I know a lot of people have been talking about E. coli and things like that. Did, do you wash your lettuce? Is that important? Is that something your mom maybe taught you? Definitely. That was actually one of the biggest things she said is that when it, before you tear up your lettuce, you have to make sure to wash it. And um, she just, you know, taught me to wash it with water, and then you can either pat it dry or you can drain it dry. Either yeah. way. Um, that's, that's something my mom always taught me, too, was anytime you're dealing with fresh fruits, vegetables, even if they came from your own garden, you should probably always wash them. Just get all the dirt and everything off of them. All right. Definitely. So... Okay, got so your romaine lettuce right there. This is romaine, and so with this, the very first time I did it, I was like, Mom, what do I do? But you just tear it off. You don't want the centerpiece or the okay. stem because, um, yeah. And so you'll just use half a head. I've um, torn up a little bit just for time reasons already. Okay. But if you just tear them into bite-sized pieces, you don't want them too big um, or too small. Just think of when you're eating a salad and the type of yeah. bite you would like to take. And it's always really awkward whenever you get a piece that's just too big. Yep. All right, so when we have our lettuce, what's the next thing that we're gonna Okay, well you also have the iceberg lettuce, so you'll okay. do half a head of that. Um, after the lettuce, you will cut up celery. So okay. you'll have, um, you take your celery. Now, is it a whole thing of celery? It's or? not, it's one cup. Okay. So actually right down here, I've got some. So it comes in a bushel like this, and you okay. just tear it off. And you don't want the very edges. So you would cut those off, and the very ends, you know, those just don't taste all that good. So, and you want them in pretty small pieces. As you can see here, here's one piece, and okay. um, you don't want a big chunk of, le of yeah, celery in your mouth whenever you're no. eating it. So I make them pretty small, um, but it does get a nice crunchy flavor into the yeah. salad, and it tastes really good. I usually will just cut it right down the center, um, like <coughs> so, and then just kind of cut it into small pieces. Okay, it kind of adds a nice texture to your salad. and It does. It yeah. makes it, you know, I love the celery in there. It's not too sweet. There's some sweet taste in here, and there's also like some onion, some crunchy, some fruit. Um, okay. And so this adds the crunchy flavor to it that I really like. Yeah. Um, so 
After the, um, the celery, you can go ahead and cut that up. It's one cup of okay, celery. Okay, so one cup of celery. Yes, and you can actually just go ahead and dump that in as right. soon as you make that. Um, and then the next thing is the green onion. And I've got some green onion. All right. Um, so these ones are a little different than normal onion. As you can see, it doesn't yeah. look like a, a white onion. Yeah. Um, okay, well, while you're cutting that up, we're actually going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, um, Alyssa is going to be back with us, and we're going to finish making up our salad. Hi, I'm Pastor Randy Carter, and I'm always looking for insights into living, little things that can help make our lives more meaningful. Giving blood is a great way to start, and now it's easier than ever. The day you plan to give, just go to Lifeline's website and click on the online donor interview to pre-register. When you get there, most of the paperwork's already done. You'll be doing the same amount of good in less time. So if you really want to make this world a better place, please give blood. It's a good thing to do. on the go take your tv with you visit eplusbroadband.com and click on tv everywhere to get started we're back with our own Alyssa carr of jackson 24 7 and we're still working away on the super bowl mandarin salad okay so we've added our romaine and our iceberg lettuce and a little bit of celery and some of our green onions so what's next yep so if you go ahead and dump Okay, now how many green onions was that? Just two. You can do three depending on the size, but two is the standard. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you can add all of your greens in and you kind of toss those up a little bit. All right. Just lightly toss it because you don't want it all on the bottom. Yeah. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to make your dressing. And I've got okay. it made right here, but all it is all right. is you have a, a teaspoon of salt, a dash of pepper. So we so have a little bit of salt, salt pepper. a little bit of pepper, just a dash of Tabasco sauce. All right. Then we're going to have two tablespoons of sugar, actually, okay. and then one tablespoon of parsley. Okay. And we now, would this dressing or whatever, would it be good on any other kind of salad or probably just, just the mandarin salad? You know, you've got to be careful what flavors you put it with because mm -hmm. it's got the vinegar and it's also got the oil, but it's got sugar, and so it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, it's so a you, sweeter. Mm -hmm, it's okay. definitely sweeter, so I would, I would be careful what salad you yeah, put it Yeah, probably not on a garden salad. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's got to have some other flavors, et cetera, in there. Um, and then you have two tablespoons of the vinegar. Okay. And I typically use a red wine vinegar, some sort of red vinegar. Balsamic's okay, mm -hmm. but um, I really like the red wine. My mom always uses it. And um, okay. so white vinegar is not the best for this one. Yeah. And then for olive oil. Now, I have a question about uh -huh. the red. Does that not quite have as much of a bite to it as maybe the regular vinegar? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah. It's, not it's, quite as tangy. it's sweeter. Okay. I thought, it is. I thought so. I thought that might be what the difference is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's definitely sweeter. And then you're going to have just a half a cup of vegetable oil. oil. And um, I typically like to use olive oil. Here I use the Bertoli. Um, okay. Olive oil is definitely the best. So. All right. So. Are we going to put that in the salad now? Yes. This all right. Make sure you do it in the order that I'm doing it in, or else it will. the flavors will kind of get all mixed up. Okay. Um, so I make sure I put it in something I can shake it or stir it well. Okay. And I just pour it right on. All right. That looks really good. All right. And okay. so this is going to be a little bit of a sweeter salad and a little bit tangier than, you know, a typical maybe Caesar or garden salad. Right. It's pretty so. sweet. Um, is, would you still eat it maybe before a meal, or how would you put it into your meal? We eat it as one of the bigger, one of the main dishes. One of the main dishes. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't really eat it as an appetizer typically, but yeah. I guess you could. Um, but it's definitely sweeter. All right. Um, so then I would just kind of lightly toss this. Um, okay, and then one of the other big things about making the salad is the sugar-coated almonds. And this okay. is my very favorite part. They right. taste amazing. Yes. Now, where did you get the sugar-coated almonds? Can you just buy you them at the grocery store? Them. All right, how did you make this? Okay, this, you get so half a cup of slivered almonds. You can just find them in the baking aisle. All right. And um, you put them in a pan, just a small pan, with three tablespoons of sugar on a medium heat. It's maybe okay. a little bit higher than medium. And you stir continuously. And you have to keep stirring or else they will get all mixed up. So right. um, you wait till it gets a little bit syrupy, and then 
um, eventually the sugar will dissolve and uh, right. then you can... Well, we have about a minute left, so let's go ahead and put this salad together. Okay. And so the very next thing is you want to put the mandarin oranges in and make sure that they are drained. So you do you put the mandarin oranges in before, before. the almonds? Okay. Yes. All right. Now, are you going to mix them up? Because I know they tend to be a little bit delicate, so you don't really want to... Right. Um, well, first I'll put the mandarin oranges in, and then I will put the almonds on top. Okay. And these are so good, I'm telling you. It's, it's, it looks like a lot, but it is really delicious. Okay. And then just lightly toss it, because you really... And you have to be gentle with... You really you know, don't, you don't want don't really want to make a mush with the, with the oranges. Right. You just don't want everything to sink to the bottom. So, all right. And yeah, and then it's all set. It's a great dish. To well, make Alyssa, anywhere. thanks so much for bringing, bringing the kitchen to us today no and problem. sharing a special family recipe. And hopefully, people will maybe kind of stray away from all the potato chips and things and <laughs> maybe live a little bit healthier life and starting with the Super Bowl and maybe eating a salad instead of hot wings. So, thanks so much for coming out and sharing this with us today. No problem. As a community, we depend on each other. Right now, somebody's life depends on blood. Can we depend on you? You never know who will need blood. I did, and I'm so thankful they were there for me. Please become a blood donor. Gig, 1,000 megabit speed. Now available to any E Plus broadband internet customer. This gig-enhanced infrastructure has the capacity to increase speeds in the future. E-plus broadband, what many interpreted as JA's entrance into cable television, was actually the foundation of an unparalleled communications infrastructure. Looking out for Jackson's economic and lifestyle future is all a part of JEA today. Steve Beverly's TV classics can cure what ails you. I watched and it got rid of my hemorrhoids. Staying awake at night? Just watch TV classics. My daughter watched and she went right to sleep. Do not watch Steve Beverly's TV classics if fights upset your stomach. Do not watch if high drama leads to emotional distress. And do not turn on TV 6 Saturday or Sunday at 7 if hillbillies give you a gallbladder attack. Ask your doctor if Steve Beverly's classics is right for you. Thank you.